activity in the NCAA college basketball transfer portal is alive and well in the women's game as well. Iowa women's basketball lands a major commitment from a high scoring guard from the Midwest. More on that in a moment. But first, a reminder, please hit the subscribe button for this channel from the Hawkeye of the Storm. Also, hit the like button if you can. If you want to sponsor the show, please email me from the eye of the storm at outlook.com. That's from the eye of the storm at outlook.com. You can also contact me via direct message on Twitter, on Facebook. Always appreciated. So the news today, or really yesterday, this news initially broke yesterday, and I've had an opportunity now to kind of review some tape. Um, Iowa women's basketball lands Central Michigan transfer Molly Davis. And this kind of, you know, obviously you're not going to hear as much buzz as it relates to, to women's basketball recruiting, especially with the transfer portal. This is an interesting one for Lisa Bluter. Uh, we know Iowa loses uh, Tommy Taiwo. Uh, she is headed to Texas Christian. You've got uh, Logan Cook heading to Providence. So a couple losses there via the portal. Those girls had an extra year of eligibility remaining, had graduated from Iowa. But Molly Davis is an interesting one. Iowa, if you'll recall, Iowa played against Molly Davis and the Central Michigan Chippewas um, just two seasons ago. Right, First round of the NCAA tournament in 2021. And I thought Chippewa, I just watched that whole game back. And I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to put a link to that video. Appreciate the YouTube user who posted that uh, that footage. I'm going to uh, put a link to that footage of Iowa's complete contest versus Molly Davis in Central Michigan from a little over a year ago. I'll put that in the description below. But I watched that whole thing back. And what struck me is here's Molly Davis, who, by the way, is listed at five foot seven, according to Central Michigan's website. OK, now we know that sometimes schools can be a little bit over generous with their uh, heights for players. Right. Uh, at least that happens in the men's game. I would guess that it happens in the women's game as well. And Central Michigan's got her at five foot seven. So put that in perspective. You think Gabby Marshall for Iowa is short. She's listed at five nine from the University of Iowa website. So Molly Davis is going to be the shortest player on the team. And yet you look at her stats. I'll just read you her stats from freshman year to junior year, uh, 2019 to 20. Uh, she averaged 14 points, four rebounds, four assists and a steal. Bump that up to 2020, 2021. She played 38 minutes and averaged 21 points, five rebounds, four assists and, um, and two steals. So good numbers heading into her uh, with her junior year. And by the way, those first two years, Central Michigan, very successful, won over 20 games, 19 to 20, made the first round, uh, made the NCAA tournament, got beat by Iowa in the first round for that 2021 season. Um, and, you know, she was she was hurt by the departure of Michaela Kelly. And she was another really high scorer for Central Michigan. Now, Molly Davis's numbers didn't drop off significantly when Kelly left. But, boy, the team's numbers, the team's results certainly did. In 21-22, Central Michigan uh, ends up going like 4-25. Four, four and 25. Uh, They were a disaster. But Molly Davis, throughout it all, um, shot 40% from the field overall, uh, scored 19 points a game, four rebounds, five assists, and a steal. So pretty consistent numbers for a girl who's undersized. Now, here's what you see on tape, what I see on tape for Molly Davis. She's quick, all right? And I'm not saying anything. I don't want to make every. I don't want to knock Gabby Marshall as I'm kind of evaluating Molly Davis' game. But of course, that's the first girl that pops off the chart for me to kind of compare her to because of their height, right? Their their kind of their their stature is very similar. And yet, I think Molly Davis is a lot quicker. She's got the ability to get to the rim and, and finish strong. She's tough. I'm not saying Gabby Marshall isn't. Now you're going to get a lot of point guard play from Molly Davis. But let's be honest. How much time? Is Molly Davis going to see it the one as long as Caitlin Clark's here? I, I don't think a whole lot. So I, I, I think you're going to see a lot of Molly Davis at the two. And that's okay. You can run two, especially with Lisa Bluter and how she likes to play on offense. You're going to be able to see Molly Davis running the two despite being five foot seven and being that, that point guard size, if you will. I think you're going to see her at the two. She'll play well off of Caitlin Clark. And defensively, you may think she's a liability at five seven. I don't think that's that's necessarily the case. If you watch tape back, and again, just watch that game against Iowa back during the 2021 NCAA tournament, Molly Davis, for much of that game, was matched up against Caitlin Clark. And for the most part, as we know, Caitlin Clark is going to get hers regardless of who's matched up against her. But for the most part, when Molly Davis guarded Clark, Clark was held in check. 
And that's that's good news if you're Iowa because proves she's quick laterally. Um, she knows how to defend. She knows how to again be tough, take contact, um, and that's good news. Again, she averaged uh, a couple steals a game just a year ago, so she knows how to play defense and use her quickness to her ability. And again, she gets to the rim. Now she does have two years of eligibility remaining if she wants them. Again, you never know what girls are going to do. We had Taiwo and Cook both leave with a year to go. Who knows if the offer was there for for them to come back and and use that extra year at Iowa? Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But Molly Davis has a chance to be here two years, and that is good news. She's going to give competition to Caitlin Clark, and she'll also she'll relieve Clark at times. But Clark's going to give you what probably thirty eight minutes a game or better. So I I just don't think. Lisa Bluter is bringing Molly Davis in here with the idea of, hey, she's going to just spell Clark a few minutes. That that's I just can't see that now. Part of why Molly Davis is leaving, I'm sure, has to do with the state of that Chippewas program, and they absolutely nosedived after a really, really good 2020 2021 season. Again, they went four and 25. Um, we'll see what happens, but I like the grittiness of Molly Davis. She can score. She's going to help them on that end. She's got good quickness and surprising athleticism for a girl standing at just five foot seven and again a midwest girl she was originally from midland michigan so uh i think a, a good addition for iowa and she should fit in well to what lisa bluter wants to do in iowa city appreciate everybody joining me for this broadcast a reminder please reach out to josue alvarez our sponsor for the show today for this video josue alvarez at dewey ford in ankeny 515-776-1068 for all of your new and used car purchasing needs. If you buy a car, new or used, through Josue at Dewey, and you mention that from the Hawkeye of the Storm sent you, you will get a $100 Casey's gas card. Again, contact Josue Alvarez at Dewey Ford in Ankeny, 515-776-1068. And as always, appreciate Josue sponsoring this segment. I will talk to you soon. Corey Brada from the Hawkeye of the Storm.